You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Shit! Yo, man, 15 Minutes of Fame. Ilmac. What's good, man? I just got finished telling you, man, one of the most underrated motherfuckers in battle rap. Salute. I appreciate it. Ah, how you doing, brother? I'm good. I'm good. good. I feel good. I didn't interview you at Pat Stay's so, nah. memorial. A couple people I didn't get a chance to interview because it was like so much going on. It was a lot. It was I don't lot. even know the last time I interviewed you. Was it the JC joint? I think Did that might have been, talk, man. Right? Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. And, and another great performance, man. Thank you. Thank even you. at um, Pat Stay, rest in peace, Pat Stay, mm-hmm. man. You went crazy then. <laughs> the surprise you, was crazy. It was, yeah, it was fun. Man. Oh. It was special. That was a little more exhibition like, but. You know, I still had to go in there and get yeah. in my little bag, you know. And and then um, if y'all, you and Jim was freestyling. Uh, we knew a few, like we knew, it was like less than a, around a week or less or something. So who, we who, knew. Who uh, did the freestyle? Or y'all did do, part of it well, was yeah, written like and we part went, of it was yeah, freestyle. Yeah, basically we knew we're, they were going to introduce us and we we're going to come out and trade off. And I was like, and then, yo, let's get in our bag. You know, right, We'll have right, a little right. back and forth, and then let's get in our bag. Because but Sharon and Hollow was free doing a whole round, four bars back and forth. That's who it was. And, that, and they introduced us. That's who it because was. Because they were doing it like that. They're yes. like, oh, we'll bring out the freestyle guys. And, and we like, knew they were freestyling because they were talking about everything that just happened on yeah, the stage. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Them old man, sometimes I get shit mixed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, well, I mean, we, we came out that round. So yeah. It makes yes, sense. yes. We they brought them out. And then we did a little four bar back and forth and then got in a little one round man. incredible and then he was like fuck that man I had wrote something for him yeah, man. I, I was need like to- oh, we gotta get this off <laughs> like alright it's gin Loved this was it. supposed to happen in 2012 or whatever it was like let us get let us get in the bag a little bit you right, know just right. see what's in the bag of tricks so Fire. yeah man it was an honor to honestly obviously under you know absolutely tragic standards I mean yeah, uh, yeah. circumstances yes but also to see the scene come together and the impact that Pat had and everybody banding together and this fool Jim would have never came he would have never interested in battle to come back to battle he loves this shit right, but he's right. got he's doing his thing he's doing TV shows and China movies all sorts of crazy I just shit. saw today yeah. jumping out on stage look yeah. like it would have been 30,000 no, people man exactly so <sighs> that in itself was, you know seeing Jim come back was like really special you know very I man it was a blessing to be part of that. Not someone who I grew up watching, you know, 106 in the park. You know, look, check your Timberlands. They say made in China. Like, bro, like, that, that shit was, like, classic inspiration for me coming up in the freestyle era. You right, know? So that right. Was, it was a full circle moment. Hey, well, you uh, you got nitty tomorrow, man. Tomorrow. You, Sunday. Day, one, Sunday, day yeah, two. Yeah. I, this is going to be one of those. And we were talking earlier. And what did you tell me? I be saying a lot of shit, man. What did I say? <laughs> you said as long as Nitty, you know, all, does yeah, yeah. As long as he does what Nitty does, which it's gonna be that's one of those. With Nitty, then it's gonna be one of them. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be one of them, man. I think it. I think it has, you know, the word classic is thrown a lot around a lot, but I think also the the landscape. Uh, you know, there's a lot of a lot of antics and extra things kind of going around right now and i don't think there's many matchups left like this to sort of have this you know historical writing first writing potential with with as much on the line and so i think it could uh i think it could go down in the books as one of those definitely i'm looking forward to it being one of those yeah. as long as both of y'all do what i paid y'all to do <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> so and and again man has, has it ever did you ever say, like, yo, I got to see Nitty before this is over? Or anybody ever yo, offered honestly, the battle to honestly, you? Honestly, hell, like, so it's been pretty much the most requested battle in my, in my, you know, wow. Twitter on when I, when I do watch on Ruin Your Day. People are always wanting that. And then he called me out. It might have been on, it, he called me out in some post-battle interview a few months ago. Like, Yo, yeah, I've been seeing it online because people were hitting him up too. Yo, get Lionel Mac up, da da da. So, hella people added me on that interview. I was like, okay, I see you. But typically, my response has been like, why you want me to battle Nitty, man? You know, if you're a fan saying I want you to battle Nitty, like I assume you don't like me for some reason. Why you want to put me in front of him like that? But obviously, you know, uh, the fans and, and the culture want, has been wanting this to happen for a minute, and. 
once once he said the name, it kind of got the things rolling. I think so. When I got the call, I'm like, yeah, this is this is meant to happen. Champion of the year, potential. Last year, yes, yes, yeah. yeah well, yeah, he's yeah. the last champion. Yeah, right. Yeah. Bell so, holder, bell holder, yeah, bell holder. Hey. Does that make a difference? Like knowing that you're about to battle somebody that they uh, gave the title of champion of the year to? Absolutely not. No. Nah. Uh, I, I I always look at my, like all the, the outside validation, I don't look at as much as who, where is my opponent in his trajectory? What's this mean to him? What's it mean to me? How does this match up? Mm. Like, you know, I've I, I battled in the crazy, you know, that even learned a lot battling Pat in Toronto, rest in peace. Like mm-hmm. I learned a lot just even mentally preparing for that. And what I learned most is strip away all that. Who are the men in this ring and what's it mean to each of us? Now now let's work from ground from you know ground right, zero. Right, up, right. You know? But they always say, man, we still men. You know, I don't day. care how much money, how much more money you got of me or how many more women you we still men at the same at the end of the day. So we gotta stand on that stage in front of each other. So exactly. I got you nitty know, man three <laughs> 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 Yo, yo, I've been gone four years. You know what I mean? You got champion of the year while I was gone. Uh, you know what I'm ooh, saying? Say that again. <laughs> you ooh. got champion of the year while ooh. I was gone. You know I mean? But but a daddy's that's the, home. That's, that's the title. You got champion of the year while I was gone. While I was sick. But now daddy's home. <laughs> Come on. That's the title. Come on. That's the slogan now. I'm going to have to add that to each round. <laughs> nah, good shit, man. And I'm really, really, I mean, I could say it a hundred times. I'm looking forward to, uh, that's the one I'm looking forward to. I mean, I don't know any other battles. Right, I, right, I like. Right. The, I want to see, uh, like I say, the, uh, the Hallahan and Geechee because of the difference of both of them. Yeah, yeah. And we're in Canada. Geechee's first time in Canada. So I want to see that. See. But Him if, and the dog, right? First day, the first time in Toronto. Is it? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. They had to make sure he got hit too. Yeah. Shout out to King of the Dot, man, for doing what they did to get them guys over here too. So. But but if no battle happens tomorrow except you and Rum, I'm going to be all right. That's what I'm here for, man. Yeah. I need to see this one, yeah. man, live. So Yeah, man. That's, oh, that's I'm not tomorrow, I'm, Sunday. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to delivering to what, and exceeding people's expectations for a potential all-time classic of pens, penmanship. And you've been in the gym, right? Yeah, I've been working. Did you start going to the gym when you found out you was battling Rum? Nah, I started going to the gym when I decided I want to battle real sick. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to battle him, but I need to, I need to be elite. You know, I need to bench 325 before I step in the ring with him. You, you know uh, Nitty was uh, in the gym when he was getting ready to battle Ace I mean, right? Really? See him doing them pull-ups on that broomstick? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Yo, I didn't see that. Hilarious. That is hilarious. Bro. Yeah, so I'm going to see you Sunday, man. Uh, Blackout 8, man. Uh, Ill Mac versus Rum Nitty. Tune in. You ain't yes. going to want to miss it. Yes. KOTD.TV. Pay per view, KOTD.TV. Get that. Back I'm outside. Bye. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame. Radio. Let's go.